Serialized fields versus public properties. What the hell is the difference? Let's get into it. Hey, what's up everyone? John Stacecolor here. Welcome back to another game dev tutorial. So in this video, I want to talk about serialized fields versus public properties. Now, this is a topic that seems to um, confuse and snag some newcomers to Unity. So I just wanted to iron out the differences here and create a thorough explanation using a practical example uh, for you guys to follow. I'll start by saying this. Serialized fields purely expose a property in the inspector where a public property will expose that property not only through the inspector, but to all other classes. This kind of violates the encapsulation model of um, object-oriented programming, which you may or may not have um, heard about. But I'll use this example now to try to paint a clearer picture for you guys to follow. So as always, I've created a nice little sample scene that we can follow. And I've got this player character here, and I've given him this hat game object, which is a child. And you'll see the hat has a hat script. And the player has a player script. So we'll start by opening up the player script. And say we want to create a player name property that um, we can change in the inspector. So we'll say public um, string players name. All right. So if we jump back to Unity now and we give it a moment, we'll see now, because I've made that public, it's exposed in um, the inspector here. So I can say uh, Hattie McHat. That'll be his name. So now if we jump over to the uh, hat script, let's say in this hat script, we want to access that um, property. So you can see here, I've simply uh, made a reference to that play script um, just ahead of time, just for simplicity. So if I go into this um, play script reference and I hit dot, you'll see the autocomplete will show me the player's name property. Well, why should this hat know the player's name? And this is, this is the kind of um, encapsulation, loose coupling paradigm I want to quickly just touch on here. I'll go into another video in the future where I'll really get into it. But it's more of a, um, it can be um, an advanced topic depending on how far you take it. But the idea is in programming and in C Sharp and, and all programming for that matter somewhat, you don't want everything to know about everything else. You want there to be some divisions and um, encapsulation. This stops problems leaking out through the project um, and infecting other classes and other things. So if you um, modulize and you limit what each class knows about other classes, where they only ever know what they really need to know, remember that old um, need to know basis where in, in the military or whatever, they say, you need to know. So only people only find out what they need to know because extra information, it's, it's just gonna cause problems and chaos, right? Because if you know too much, then you can't handle it. You can't handle the truth. Or you only want to give a, a particular class like this hat the information it needs to know. Maybe it needs to know about the player's physical size to wear the hat. It doesn't necessarily need to know the player's name. However, if, if it's showing the player's name on the hat, then maybe it does want to know the player's name. So let's take away the public. I'll zoom in that for that a little bit so you guys can see better. Writing it like this is basically the same as writing it like this, private. And it's kind of good practice to write private, I suppose. Um, but if you write it like that, it's still private. So now let's add um, a serialized field tag to this property. This is kind of like, um, some languages call it meta tags. I'm not exactly sure what they're called in, in C Sharp and Unity, but um, anyway. So if we write this, this should now keep the field private, but it should give us access through the inspector either way. So look at that. Hattie McHatt is back. We can change this to whatever. Let's call it John, because that looks like me. But hey, if it's gonna look like me, let me, um, let me tip this hat. There you go, ma'am. Gonna tip that, tip that hat, see? So, okay, so we've serialized the player's name. It's exposed in the inspector. 
And now if we go um, to this uh, hat script, check this out. Player script, player name, it's not there. We don't have access to it. So that's good. That means we can um, make it public in the inspector, but we don't have to have every other class knowing about it. So the mistake is um, new programmers often coming through some random Unity tutorials will um, come across uh, more often than not this. And they'll see it um, exposing in the property, but they don't know the implications of this now being exposed to every class. As a matter of fact, there is a way to go about this, right? And I just want to make the point that even if you go to like the Microsoft official documentation here for um, C Sharp fields, you can see here, Microsoft themselves specifically say, um, if you write it like this, generally not recommended, okay? So this is even a recommendation from Microsoft, but note the word generally. And um, we're indie devs, right? So we generally do a lot of things we're not probably supposed to do <laughs> to, to make our projects work. And this is why, um, um, yeah, I mean, look, the reality is as indie devs, we're a slightly different kind of programmer than say web development and systems architectures because we need to try to complete a product within a reasonable, feasible time period. Quite often we're working in solitude on our own, so we make little exceptions and um, as they write here, generally not recommended, but you know, um, you can do it like that. But there is a way that is a bit more acceptable and that is to write it, um, how is it, like this. Now this is what is known as an auto property um, in C Sharp. And what this means is at runtime, um, Unity will, um, or the compiler will create a proper getter and setter structure for this. Don't worry too much about what I just said there. Um, just know that if you do want to use a public string, um, this is a lot more acceptable although it is a bit more complicated to write um, and a lot of Indies will still opt to write it like this. So that's the state of affairs guys and hopefully um, I've given you a bit of insight into the differences here and why you want to might use one over the other. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give it a big thumbs up down below and a big shout out to my monthly Patreon supporters up here. Thanks so much for supporting me and this channel. It really, really helps. If any of you want to have your name up here and support this channel and also get access to all the different project files for all the different uh, previous videos, as well as a bunch of the different extra mini scripts and um, useful things you can have in your own games, then I'll put the link to the Patreon uh, down below. Oh, and make sure you swing by the Discord. Um, we have a nice community growing there, about 300 developers at the moment. And I'm there, so you can chat with me and um, we can talk about game dev and we can exchange advice and things like that. All right, guys, all the best. See you in the next video. And as always, all the best on your game dev adventures.